Hey, I was thinking about something we cooked. What do you think about dessert? Looks like you got that covered. What, her? Oh, that's just Kathy. She's one of my secretaries. Yeah, I know about secretaries. You mind if I just pass on the attitude? All right, I'm just here to cook. We'll let God worry about saving my soul, all right? So listen, I was thinking, a huge seven-layer chocolate cake. Big lamb, woo-hoo! What's up, bro? You got the best hand. All right, then. Here it is. I want to see IRS statements, bank records to prove your loot is legit. I ain't trying to look like no money launderer. That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I got this little Bieber company. Yeah, 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 I run yeah, all yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit too much info already. The less I know, the better. You feel me? No doubt. Now, I'm going to check you out, man. And if I hear that you still out there putting it down on the streets, <laughs> I ain't fucking with you. Please, quit telling me the same thing over and over like I'm Rain Man or something. You hear me or not? <laughs> I hear you. Business partner. Then meet me here at nine tonight. Auntie Bird. Yes. Uh, tell everybody how you're feeling right now. Ah, uh, I am feeling a little unprepared. And when I feel unprepared, I get nervous. And when I get nervous, I mess up. Oh, okay, Bird, relax. Breathe in. Focus. Feel the goal. Not working. I'm going to kill your Aunt Terry for talking me into this. All right, I need some spray. Um, I'll also need to tune in. There she is. Like everything's normal. <clears throat> yes. Mm, yes, I just uh, just one question. Who'd you have to sleep with to get my spot? Excuse me? <laughs> that is such bad acting. You obviously stole one of my hair designs, flirted with the judges, and ended up with the best booth in the oh, show. Look here, fantastic or terrific or whatever it is you call yourself. Fabulous. I would never steal anything. In fact, I don't even know how you would steal a hairstyle. You stole my ethnic motif and you know it. Your ethnic motif? Mm -hmm. Please. You're special, you know that? You know, it's people like you that give our profession a bad image. Look. And get that camera out of my face. Hey, don't you talk to him like that. Come here, baby. A hundred thousand G's to get a business going. <laughs> yep. And the zoning board wants it in a secured bank account. My fee is 10,000 plus 5% of the business. And you get 10 G's and a percentage? Mm -mm. I did all the research. Pinpoint a product, a market, a neighborhood. You worse than these white boys trying to jack me for my cash. Then find one of them to do the job I did and create a business plan so you could get bank funded. Or should I remind you you're a convicted drug dealer? So are you, motherfucker. I'm gonna have to do a lot to get anybody to even think about giving us what we need. All I'm asking you to do is to make sure your loot looks clean and you stay out the game from this point on. All right. So what's this great business idea? Okay. Now, Youngsville is being completely gentrified right now. Gentry what? Gentrified. It's where buppies and yuppies move into the hood, renovate and drive the prices up. Now, I, I found a, a space where an uh, upscale fish frying market would go great. Mm. You remember my grandmother used to be selling fish out the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. She used to use the same grease for months. <laughs> Didn't care when the straight cat started showing up at the back door. She would give him a fish bone and keep on frying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
So, how you plan to set this off? An old school hustler turned community activist is a developer over the project. We get him to help us out. We're in there with the zoning board. And why is he gonna help us? <laughs> because he gets to look like a hero for helping a young player from the hood start a business while lining his pockets. <laughs> That's another somebody I got to hit off with a little shot. <laughs> I'm gonna go broke dealing with you. Hey, look, man, I gotta go. So I gotta get home to all that loving you don't give a shit about. <laughs> Stay up. Right? Finish that drink, because that's the only thing that's going to keep you warm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> We're going to save you a ton of money by spreading these residual payments over three years. That's pretty heads up thinking, Tedro. Good evening, gentlemen. How's everything going? Let's test her. So what's your opinion? the stock versus cash portion of my termination clause. Uh, let's see. Yep, well, although the stock package they're offering is sizable, I'd go with an exit strategy that favored cash. Brian, what do you think? Well, Gray Kirk Oil has always been a solid company on the Dow. And if oil trends continue, these options could be worth double what they're offering in cash. I see what you mean. But according to his financial advisors, his portfolio is already pretty diversified. Plus, with the Middle East becoming such a powder keg, the oil market isn't the dependable bull that once was. But you'd agree that our country was built on two things, the stock market and oil. I really believe yeah, that... He I see the soundness of your strategy, but Dusty's still a relatively young man. A young man who happens to be very wealthy. I think we should go ahead and give him a couple of chips to spread around the roulette table. And that's exactly what we'll do. Hmm. I have to get back to work. Looks like you boys got a good handle on things. She's a real cowboy, ain't she? Hmm. Your client's an insensitive, cheating slime ball, Damon. What do you do now? Came to my house with some floozy. Swap and spit on my doorstep. He is a married man with a baby. How could you represent somebody like that? I, uh, when you get to know him, he's a, he's a good guy. A good guy? Yeah. Because last I checked, cheating was not a good guy thing. Look, he does love Samantha. It's just... You know, women throw themselves at athletes, and, and some of these athletes just can't say no. Well, I can say no. I'm not going to pretend this man is not a liar and a cheat. He took vows. For me to ignore what he's doing is like saying, it's okay. No. It's not okay. Max, it's, it's not okay. I, I know it's not okay. Look, please. Listen, Max, Max. Okay. Every day... I pray that Kevin will see the error of his ways and straighten up. And I keep praying until God delivers him. Oh, so now you pray? On my knees, head bowed. I can't believe you are trying to play the God card. You haven't been to church since Ahmad got baptized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate, okay? Look, I need your help here, okay? I promise I, I, I will never put you in this position ever again. Okay, fine. I will do this, but... Nothing, nothing but... Thank you. Thank you. I owe you. Yes, you do. In fact, you can pay me back by sitting on the pew next to me this Sunday. Done. Sunday pew. You I'm talking me. Sunday school. Hey. 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 Hey.
Let's star is here. Let's get the show on the road, eh? <laughs> That's huh? right. Hey, Maxie. Hey. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's get the show good. You know. I want to start by apologizing to the filmmaker, uh, Ahmad Chadway, for my previous behavior. It's just I'm very passionate about beauty. Um, well, it's my life. What does winning this award show mean to you? Uh, if I win a weekly segment on... Chicago Update. I, I, I could finally fulfill my dream of uh, opening a chain of drive through salons. I'm calling them Bump and Go. <laughs> okay. And cut. Thanks. <clears throat> oh, and uh, little boy, you make sure that my light is right and I'm edited properly or I will sue you. I'm sorry, I was looking for uh, Bob Jameson. Maybe he's in the conference room with Brian. Oh, Terry, how are contract negotiations with Brian coming? Fine. Fine, good, good. Burke and Willis thought it would be tricky holding on to him. I guess they were wrong. Came special delivery yesterday. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. That set you back. Guess. 300. Again. 500. Once more. <laughs> oh, let's hope you can shoot better. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks. Right there, please. Terry. Hi. Hey. Wow. You look great. Oh, thank you. Who's the lucky guy? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> the board of Greg Kirk invited me to the foundation luncheon. Hey, Terry. I was just on my way to see you. Is that right? Yeah, I had a meeting on the 23rd floor, and I thought I'd uh, show you that driver I was talking about. Mm hmm And you decided to show it to Brian first. Uh, we ran into each other at the elevator. Will you come see me after lunch? I need to get your opinion on assigning a couple of cases. Sure. Okay. You know, I guess I should give it a try, since you were nice enough to buy it for me. Right. <laughs> yeah, of course. Interesting name. Short for something? Yeah, Mr. Marks. Nah, my mom's just dug it. Mr. Marks, I need to ask some questions about the redevelopment project. Now, how can a young brother trying to come up, up get Mr. you Marks? interested in a business plan? You talking about that small business application you turned in for Rome's crooked ass? Well, he's got some money that's clean. <laughs> you know what's wrong with black people, Lim? We don't know how to take care of shit. The businessman, politician, the law. You mean take care of things the way they really get taken care of? That's how I got this project done. Shit had to be taken care of. That's what I do. Take care of shit. And the people who take care of shit are your power brokers. You remember that, son? You grew up in Mobley, right? Yes, I did. Good to see you around here, Barry. You know I grew up in Mobley? Yeah, I read it in your bio. You own a couple of mortuaries. Redevelopment Foundation, some laundromats. Yeah, I guess so. This is my situation. Rome is my client, and he wants to... No, we want to open a specialty fish market. You figure even upscale black folks want some down-home cooking. 